Hello, everybody. Andrea here with Dental L. Let's talk about how to get your portfolio done before the holidays. So if you are a dental hygienist in Ontario, you have been audited and you're going to submit your portfolio. You have until the end of January 2022, depending on when you're watching this video, basically the end of January the next year. OK, so your portfolio is based on the year those three years prior. So it's 2021 now. Your portfolio is based on 2021, 2020, and 2019. And you have until the end of January 2022 to submit it. Does that make sense? If you have any questions, let me know. My email is down below. Feel free to send a message in Facebook as well. So I do also offer portfolio reviews. So if you have done your portfolio and you just want to make sure it is audit worthy, meaning you will hopefully pass the audit, send it my way. So I will leave the link for you guys for that down below as well. Depending on how many goals you have, a portfolio review is typically $75 because it does take me a while to do. I send you a full report on every single goal that you have. If you have 20 different goals, I'm going to email you back and say, this is going to take me longer. Are there certain goals you want me to review? But typically everybody's within the $75, okay? But I will leave the link for you down below, a full portfolio audit before you actually submit. I can help you. But let me just share my screen here. So this is my portfolio, okay? This is just kind of a sample. I want to show you guys what I mean by the different goals, how to also add in your um, additional activities. So you need 75 hours over three years and 15 of those hours can be additional activities, meaning 15 of those hours you do not have to write a goal for, because let me show you. Let's say your goal is to learn about SDF and its use on primary teeth. So I'm just gonna click that to show you guys. Um, I'm going to modify that goal. So every time you have a goal, you have to fill in the information for that. So what does that mean? You need to fill in the title of, of that goal. The more specific, the better. And then the different activities. So did you take courses? Did you read magazines? You should have more than one activity per goal, especially if your activity is one hour. That's it. You need more, you know, hour long activities to really make it a good solid goal. If you need help, I can help you. I do have a Facebook group as well that I can link for you guys down below where you can network with other students who are also working on their portfolio. So at their, um, sorry, your report on learning is the most important. So down here, what have I learned while completing this goal? in paragraph form, not just one paragraph, make it several. They want it to be specific. You can do paragraph form or point form. Every time I go through the portfolio um, reviews, for every person pretty much, I have to tell them, you need more um, report on learning, number three and number four. They're not going to accept it if you just have a couple different points. You need to be specific as possible. If you need help, I do have a full portfolio online workshop where I go through how to write a goal, how to be specific, how many activities you should have how to write out your activity details. And I talk about what you should have under your report on learning where I give specific examples, the good ones and the bad ones, okay? So this is what you need to do for every single goal. And when I talk about writing a portfolio um, review for you, I write a full report. So I go through every single goal, I let you know what has to change if something has to change, or I might say you did a great job, you know, continue on. But 99.9% .9 of the time, when people um, send me their portfolios, there's changes that need to be made before they can pass it. So it's better to have me look it over before you submit it, because then you can make those changes before you submit it. And that helps you avoid a CDHO phone call, interview, site visit, you name it. But what I'm saying is, how are you going to get your portfolio done before the holidays? Let me tell you. So it is now November 20th. 
depending on when you're watching this video. The best advice I can give you is just start. If you're looking at your portfolio and you're like, I didn't take any courses this year, that's okay. Then look at the previous years. Let's say you didn't do anything, then you can't lie, start taking courses now. Literally take three hours of courses every day. It adds up, you can do it. There are some much larger courses out there, especially with the CDHA as an example. Um, there's courses by Maxill. There's all kinds of courses you can take that might be 10 hours, 20 hours, and that would be good to fill up your portfolio. So do that, okay? Just get started. But I find typically people have taken these courses, they just haven't put it into their portfolio yet. So they haven't made a goal based on those courses. What we should be doing is creating goals for the year and then taking courses based on those goals. But what ends up happening is you're creating goals based on the courses you took, which makes sense, right? That is making the most use of your time. Again, you guys, if you need help, I do offer a full online portfolio workshop that I give you several examples that you're more than welcome to use. Switch it up a bit so it's in your own words, but you kind of see how things should be written down and I am also here to help. But that's what you need to do to get it done before the holidays is just get started. Do two or three hours of work every day and pay attention to those 15 hours of non-goal um, hours that you're allowed to do because why do more work creating more goals if you don't have to? They say you should have at least one goal a year, but that's not set in stone. Two or three goals a year is fine. Even say like five goals the one year and then no goals the next year is okay, but they like to see a variety. If you have 10 um, different goals every, every year, they're going to look at you like, oh my God, we're not even going to read this. This is a waste of our time. That's what they're going to do. So try to make it, <coughs> excuse me, a little more varied and less work for yourself, but just do it. I have tons of examples. Feel free to do a search even in my YouTube channel where I just kind of talk about what makes a good goal and what makes a bad goal. The course that I, or I'm sorry, the website that I like to go to, I'm just gonna put it in for you guys right now. Um, I'm not sharing my screen yet, is um, um, vivalearning.com. When I did my portfolio last year, that's what I did. I just literally went to vivalearning.com I just picked a category of things that I wanted to learn about, and I just listened to these webinars over and over and over again. They have some live ones coming up, but what I like to do is I just like to listen to the ones that are already there because the timings to watch the live ones never really work for me. So that's what I did, and that's a very easy way to get in additional hours. Plus, I do have courses that you can take too, depending. Um, for example, if you're looking into possibly starting a mobile dental hygiene business, I have a course on how to do that. You can use that as part of your goal-related hours. The amount of hours depends on the amount of hours you spend taking the course. It could be 10 hours, it could be 20 hours, just as long as you properly source the information, which I can help you with, that's adding in hours. I have plenty of courses, you guys. Have a look, but they might not be the right ones for you. So. Um, Viva Learning is another great course, okay? So that's a great way to get your portfolio done before the holidays. Just do it a little bit every day. Um, that's the best thing to do. Okay, you guys, let me know if you have any questions and thank you for watching. Please click like, that does help me and my channel. If you need anything, I'm going to leave the Facebook group for you guys down below. That's a great way to network with other dental hygienists who are taking their portfolio, or sorry, they're submitting their portfolio as well or even taking the quality assurance exam. If you decide to go that way, I do have a prep course on the quality assurance exam as well. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you need anything. I'm here to help and I'll see you guys in the next video.